Hi, I'm Gloria Kenyon, Public Programs Coordinator for the Smithsonian American Art Museum and Renwick Gallery. And today's Handy Hour Craft is making pom-pom earrings. I've got two different ways you can make them. I'm going to show you one that's a little bit more complicated, but also has a little bit more movement to it. The first one is just with a straight pin that you would normally see with any kind of earrings. And I just threaded it through the pom-poms, so, and they rest on the little end of the pin. And they swing. They're pretty fun. But this one, if you were going to use a jump, Bar and a jump ring and it's got a little more movement it's also going to sew a little bit I've got a light nice light pink one and a nice bright pink one so we're just going to take some thread and a needle and you're actually going to use a pretty good amount of thread to sew these onto the bar you want to make sure they're nice and secure a little bit more than a foot and now I'm going to thread my needle we're actually going to leave these ends untied. We're going to take our little bar. It's got two circles, one on each end. One's going to be for the earring hook and the other is where we're going to sew our pom-poms. So we're just going to stack these. Hot pink one first, light pink one second. We're going to pull those through and leave really probably a couple inches of thread down there. And then we're just going to sew them onto their bar. And we're going to go through a couple of times. We want to make sure it's nice and secure. So I'm going to repeat that a couple more times. Just back and forth through the ring. And like I mentioned, there's that stiff center in the pom-pom. You want to make sure you're going through that, otherwise your thread's just going to pull right out. So there, you can see they're adhered to the bar. You've got your thread. Pull these, make sure they're nice and snug. And then I cut my needle off, because I don't need that. And then I'm going to tie these two ends together. And you want to make sure you knot them securely because this is what's holding everything on. And you want to try and get it into your pom-pom. If you are worried about thread showing, you can use a matching colored thread to your pom-poms. So we've tied this in a knot and we've just got these extra tails. We're just going to cut them off and you want to cut them as close to the pom-pom as possible. So we have the bottom half of our earring. We've got pom-poms that can move because we've got the thread. So now we're going to attach the hook. We're just going to take a little jump ring. You can buy these in all different sizes. Um, they're pretty small. They come already closed. So you're going to want to take your trusty jewelry pliers. You just open them. So now we've got an open jump ring. We're going to thread it through the other end. And we're going to take our fish hook for our earring. Just throw those on, and we're going to close this jump ring right back up. I'm going to make sure you do it slowly and securely, so you get a nice even close, and you aren't able to see the join or have it anything slide out. And there you go. Got your jump ring adhered, so you now have a matching pair of dangling earrings.